Want to improve your surfing? Here's a 15 minute surf yoga workout every surfer should know. Hey guys, Chris from Stoke for Travel here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any video goodness. Uh, now you may recognize my friend Echo here, an awesome yoga teacher. She ran through 10 awesome surf poses. Um, I've invited her back to the channel again. She's gonna do a 15 minute surf and strength workshop. So you can really open up those hips, get everything flexy, and also build up all those core muscles. So yeah, I'm gonna hand it over to her. Hey guys, all right, so one big thing that we need to do when we surf is to stretch, but also strengthen the body. Uh, so it's beautiful to find stretches for post-surf or pre-surf, but also when we're not in a surf session, it's great to do strengthening practices that will help us be better surfers. So we're gonna go through uh, some postures today and we'll just get into the first one. So we're gonna come into triangle pose, get the legs nice and wide, and you wanna stretch you want to stretch. You want to point the left foot forward so that we get a nice little angle here. Right heel is turned down back behind you. And take an inhale, lift the arms and reach the left arm forward. Left hand down to the left shin, right arm reaching up. So this left hand isn't really re relaxing on the left shin. It's just hanging out here while the core is engaged. So we're strengthening the core while also protecting the lower back, which is going to really help us with our surf. Stay here for at least 10 breaths or maybe a minute and take an inhale when you're done and come back up to center. And then we'll just turn the left feet in, right toes forward and do it on the other side. So inhale brings the arms up, stretch the right arm forward, right hand down to the right shin, left arm reaching up. Again, the core is engaged. The left shoulder is opening or the top shoulder is opening up. And if you wanna make this even more tricky and strengthening for the core, stretch both arms forward overhead. Nice open heart space and look up. So really engaging through the core, strengthening the lower back. And this is really going to enhance our posture on the surfboard and really help our lower back to strengthen. When you're ready, after about a minute, inhale, bring the arms back up, hands to hips and relax. All right, so next posture, we're gonna go ahead and take the feet wide, turn both of the toes out. So the knees are moving away from each other, sink into the hips, hands resting on the knees. Press down through the feet, lift up through the center so you feel your core engaged here. So we're not just hanging out, we're engaged by pressing down through the feet, lifting to the hips, but keeping a bend in the knees. Hands resting on the knees, bring the right shoulder in through the center, and look over the left shoulder. So not only are we getting a nice hip opening here, we're getting a twist through the side body and we're opening across the shoulders. And then when you're ready, come through center, left shoulder dips in, look over the right, get a twist here on the left side of the belly and that opening across the right shoulder. Come back through center. And when you're done, press through the feet, lift up. So you can stay for, there for as long as you need. You might start to tremble, but take your time. When you're done, heel toe the feet in and come back up to standing. All right, so next posture, we're gonna come into a crescent lunge. So step the right foot forward first. Keep that back leg nice and long, left heel pointing up and reach the arms up. You're gonna kind of sickle the right hip in, so pull it in and really engage through the center and the core as you press down, to, down through the feet to lift. So we're gonna make this strengthening. Take an inhale, straighten the right leg a bit, and exhale, bend the right knee, bend the elbows, open the heart. Inhale, press, lengthen up. Exhale, bend the right knee, open the heart, bend the elbows. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, bend. So do about 10 on either side. And when you're done with those 10, inhale, come back up to standing, hands alongside the body. And this time you can just step the right foot back, do the left side. Inhale, reach the arms up. Pause here. Inhale, lengthen, stand up straight. Exhale, bend the left knee, open the elbows, open the heart. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, open. Inhale, lengthen. 
exhale open so again do about 10 here and when you're done you'll come back up to standing so the next posture we're going to step the right foot back right heel down about 90 degrees left knee pointing forward so hips are nice and open to the right side arms reach out warrior two so very famous yoga pose here left knee is stacked over the left ankle and nice strength here in the shoulders by bringing the scapula together down the back and putting strength in the arms so the arms aren't just hanging out here or nice and active press down through the feet to lift through the center and feel the core engaged here so we're strengthening through the core strengthening through the left leg and even strengthening through the shoulders so you want to stay here for at least five to ten breaths and when you're ready you'll just come back up to standing and we'll do the other side so step the left foot back right foot presses down reach the arms out and again you can always do these for a little bit longer a minute on each side to build some strength kind of pulling that right hip back sinking into the right knee shoulder blades together take five to ten breaths here and when you're ready to come out of the pose slowly bend into the right knee step forward and come to standing all right so our next exercise is a nice uh, stretch exercise for the quads so let's pick up the right knee or bend the right knee bring the right foot behind you and bring the right hand to the outside of the right ankle and just pull the right foot in you'll feel the hip flexor stretch on the right side and you might even bring the left hand back behind you and pull the right foot even more nice open chest shoulder blades together so we get a nice heart opener as well as a quad stretch stay here for about five breaths and when you're ready you'll just let the right foot go and we'll move to the other side bend the left knee left hand to the outside of the left foot right hand as well open the heart shoulder blades down the back press the left knee back a bit elbows back and five breaths here as well when you're ready after five breaths slowly set the left foot down and return to standing position all right a great exercise especially before we're going to go surfing and after nice stretch across the triceps into the deltoids is just to bring the arm across the body so you can you can start on either side but I'm starting with my right side and use the other arm to bend the elbow and pull it into the body so you'll feel this here right down the tricep and moving across the shoulder blade on the back as well so stay here for about five to ten breaths and the reason we stay for longer is the first couple of breaths are really just to settle in but the fascia beneath the skin doesn't really begin to release the adhesions until we stayed for a little bit so they say three to five minutes is the best but if you can at least give it a minute that'll be helpful after about a minute to three move to the other side so again here I'm not staying as long I'm just demonstrating it for you guys so just stay as long as you'd like and especially if your shoulders are feeling quite tender it's a great exercise to do when you're done come back to your standing position all right so camel pose might look easy but it is definitely not easy so we want to start standing on the knees this is a great heart opener here so we're going to stand on the knees tuck the toes under this is going to make it much more accessible we're going to bring the hands to the lower back wrap the thumbs around the lower back and peel the chest open as the shoulder blades travel down the back for some of you your shoulders might already be screaming so this might be where you stay take an inhale open the heart look up and on the exhale maybe you stay here or maybe you begin to slowly find a deeper back bend one hand goes down to the heel maybe the other hand goes down to the heel and open the heart space yeah so we're bringing the shoulder blades back this is deeply good for surfing as we tend to pronate the shoulders when we surf so this is really good to open the shoulders back up open the heart stay here for five breaths if you can and when you need to come out take your time one hand to the hip first next hand and slowly come up sit back onto the heels and breathe all right so next posture 
Not a favorite posture of mine, but really great for the entire front line of the body. We're gonna to come to standing on the knees, tuck the toes under, bring big toes together, even the pinky toes are tucked, and we're gonna sit back on to the heels. So you're gonna get a bunch of fire coming up on top of the foot and into the ankles, but we begin to release any tension along the entire front line. So we have energetic lines here, lots of nerve endings in the feet. So heat will build up, but after there's generally a really, really nice release. So being on our feet all day, especially when we're surfing, it's really, really good to just release any tension here. You wanna stay for five to 10 breaths. We're not gonna do that now, but stay for as long as you can. When you're ready, you'll come onto the hands and just pat the feet out. And if it doesn't feel like there's been any tension or any heat, that means you didn't do it long enough. So do it longer. You'll sit back onto the heels, hands behind you, open the heart space, puff the chest up and lift the knees. So if you've really done it and you really worked yourself, this will feel so amazing. If you didn't stay very long, then it won't feel like you've done much. So give yourself more time there and slowly come back up to a seat and pause. Next position, come into tabletop position, or all fours, and we're gonna take an inhale, stretch the right arm up overhead, and exhale, sweep the right arm underneath the body, right shoulder down to the ground, stretch the left arm forward, so threading the needle, we're moving into the right shoulder. Stay here for five to seven breaths, take your time. If it feels good, you might even wrap the left hand to the right hip crease, opening the left shoulder. Take your time, and when you're ready, left hand plants back down, push up, and we just move to the other side. Left arm underneath the body, left shoulder down, right arm traveling forward, or right hand to the left hip crease. Open the right shoulder up. And slowly, after five to seven breaths, bring the right hand down, press up, and return to a tabletop position. All right, so our next position, we're going to come to an easy seat, so just crossing the ankles, and then we're gonna stretch one leg forward, so left leg forward, bring the right foot in to meet the left thigh, and our hips are square towards the front of the room or the front of the beach, wherever you might be. Take a nice inhale and just fold over that extended leg. And we wanna stay here for five to seven breaths. Once you've completed five to seven breaths, peel the chest open and bring the right hand to the lower back. Press the hips up and stretch the left arm back. So we're gonna get a nice belly stretch here. Full front line stretch after surfing. This feels amazing, opening the hips, opening into the groin and slowly set the hips down after you take about five breaths and we just switch sides. So right leg forward, left foot into the right thigh with left knee bent. Inhale, peel the chest open and exhale, fold forward. Again, stay here for five to seven breaths. And after that is completed, inhale, peel the chest up, left hand behind the hips, Reach the right arm back, press the hips up, and get a nice belly stretch. Melt the right arm down. Stretch through the groin. Four more breaths here. And after your four breaths, you'll slowly sit the hips down again and just find that easy seat. All right, so our next position is going to be a warrior one with a slight variation. So step the left foot forward and spin the right heel down about 45 degrees and bend into the left knee. So we're looking forward, bring the arms up, reach up. Pull the shoulder blades down the back and we want the hips to point forward. So if you need to widen your stance so that your hips are pointing forward, do so. We're building strength here in the legs by dropping into the left knee, sending energy up through the midline, engaging through the core. Take an inhale, bring the hands to the lower back, make a fist, open the chest, so again, always working to bring the shoulders back for our surfers, especially since we're on the surfboard doing this a lot. We want to pull the chest back, open the heart space. So take an inhale. Exhale, slowly fold to the inside of the left knee, fist points up. So you want to let the head drop in, keep the left hip working back, and stay here for five to seven breaths. 
So your left thigh should be shaking. After five to seven breaths, you'll inhale, press through the left foot, lift back up, unbind the hands, and step forward. And then we just do the other side. So step the left foot back down to that 45 degree angle, deep bend in the right knee, reach the arms up, shoulders down the back. Take an inhale, hands to the lower back, make a fist, open the heart. On your exhale, fold in to the inside of the right knee, head drops down, fist up, five to seven breaths here until that right thigh trembles. And when you're ready, your inhale, you'll press through the right foot, lift up, release the bind, and step forward. So next posture we're gonna do is really gonna get through the lateral line. So we can get a little constricted here. We wanna lengthen and find, find some stretch here. So take an inhale, reach the arms up. And on the exhale, bring the left hand down the left side, right arm stretching up and over, press down through the feet to lift through the chest and really find length through the entire right side. So stay here for at least five breaths. You might even take tiny pulses. And when you're ready, move to the other side, right hand down the side of the body, left arm stretching up, tiny pulses if that feels good for you, get length through the entire left side. And after about five breaths, come back up through center, hands rest alongside the body. All right, so next posture is the forearm stands. This is not an easy pose. I would say do it against a wall if you need to, um, and maybe not bring the feet up into the air if it's the first time that you've ever done it, but this is gonna be great for strengthening the shoulders. So sitting back on the heels, come forward into tabletop and bring the forearms down to the ground and bring the hands to the, to the triceps. So just making sure we're about hip width distance apart. Bring the forearms back down, tuck the toes under, lift the hips like you're in downward facing dog, but on the forearms. Chest pushes through towards the thighs, and we can just stay here. This can be our pose. So this is gonna be deeply strengthening for the shoulders and also very opening. So not many poses are you able to strengthen and stretch at the same time. This is a great dynamic pose for that. If you have forearm stand in your practice, feel free to come onto the right toes first, Lift the left leg up and then stay here for five breaths or so. If it's in your practice to lift up, you can take little hops and try to balance and take about a minute on each side. Then I'm gonna switch to the right side, bring the left foot down, right leg lifts up. Again, you can stay here for five breaths or you can take tiny hops. Maybe balancing on the forearms, maybe not. And lower the right foot down when you're ready. After that, you'll need to rest. So bring the knees down to the ground, sink back to the heels and take a child's pose for as long as you need. So our next position, we're gonna lie on the back and pull the knees into the chest. It's as easy as that. So we call this wind relieving pose in yoga. This is gonna be so good for your lower back, but keep the shoulders on the back, keep the lower back down as much as you can and just rock from side to side. So after a long surf sesh, this is wonderful to release the lower lumbar. So if we've got tight back lines, we're contracting everything in now and just releasing. So stay here as long as you need, maybe a full minute or two minutes. And when you're ready, you can just set the feet down again, let the knees fall in towards each other and hands rest on the hips. Our next pose. So we're gonna pull the knees into the chest and we're gonna rock them overhead, hands to the lower back, and straighten the legs up above. You want your toes to be in line with the eyes, so we don't want the feet coming back behind us. We want them right overhead, and keep the neck nice and long, so do your best to not have your chin into the chest, and no looking around. So keep the neck nice and long, feet pointing up, and we stay here for around three minutes, generally. So do your best to stay here as long as you can and use your energy to press the feet up so we're not sinking into the upper body. And when you're ready, knees will bend in, slowly roll down and just allow the knees to fall into each other, hands resting on the hips. 
All right, guys. So you've done all of the postures and if you've just surfed or you're about to surf or you just need a moment after all of those poses, come into corpse pose or Shavasana. So you can call this starfish. Let the legs go out long, walk the shoulders up, let the arms go out to the sides and just allow yourself to surrender, to ground in, and yoga is all about doing all of the dynamic movement so that we can come into a space of stillness and really enjoy the hard work that we've done or the epic surf session that we've had. So allow yourself to stay here for at least five minutes. And it might seem like you're doing nothing, but this is all about resetting the nervous system, shutting the eyes down, allowing the body to release, let go of tension, and just finding a space of calmness within. So whenever you're ready, relax, receive, and enjoy your day. So I hope you enjoyed Echo's 50 minute surf and strength session there. Make sure you keep practicing, build up those muscles, and it'll make a massive difference next time you're in the lineup. That's it for this week, guys. If you'd love to learn more about Echo, the courses she runs, and also the retreats, make sure you hit the link in the description below and check all that out. That's it for this week, guys. See you next time. Yoop.